what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says find the value of x for which 2 to the x plus 1 minus 3 to the 2x is equal to 0. well our first step will be for us to move negative 3 to the 2x to the right hand side and when we do that we have 2 to the x plus 1 on the left to be equal to as negative 3 to the 2x crosses to the right it becomes positive 3 to the 2x very good now our next step would be for us to apply the law of indices that says when i have for example a to the m plus n this is same as a to the m times a to the n so we're going to be applying this law of indices to what we have on the left hand side so this expression can now be written as 2 to the x times 2 to the 1 just like this and this is equal to what i have on the right hand side is 3 to the 2x very good now we all know that 2 to the 1 is 2 so this becomes 2 to the x times 2 equal to 3 to the 2x very good now our next step will be for us to apply the law of indices that says when i have for example a to the m times n this is same as a to the m or raised to the n so we're going to be applying this law of indices to what we have on the right hand side so that we have on the left we have 2 to the x times 2 this is equal to the right hand side writing in this form will be 3 to the 2 or raised to the x very good and then simplifying further we have 2 to the x times 2 this is equal to 3 squared is 9 and this is raised to the x very good now our next step will be for us to divide both sides by 2 to the x so i'll divide the left hand side by 2 to the x i'll also divide the right hand side by 2 to the x now notice that 2 to the x cancels out from the left hand side leaving behind 2 to be equal to the right hand side i have 9 to the x all over 2 to the x very good now since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side i can flip their positions so that means i can rewrite this writing what i have on the right hand side to be on the left hand side so 9 to the x all over 2 to the x and then writing 2 on the right hand side it is still the same thing now our next step will be for us to apply the law of indices that says when i have a to the n all over b to the n this is same as a over b all raised to the common exponent n so let's apply this law of indices to what we have on the left hand side so that means this expression can be written as 9 over 2 all raised to the common exponent x and this is equal to 2 very good now our next step will be for us to take the log of both sides so i'll take the log of the left hand side which is 9 over 2 all raised to the x this is equal to i'll take the log of the right hand side which is 2 very good so our next step will be for us to apply the property of logarithm that says when i have the log of a to the p this is same as p log a very good so that means this expression on the left just like this can be written as x log 9 over 2 very good and this is equal to on the right hand side we have log 2 and since we're looking for the value of x our next step will be for us to divide both sides by log 9 over 2 
So I'll divide the left hand side by log 9 over 2. I'll also divide the right hand side by log 9 all over 2. Very good. Now notice that log 9 over 2 cancels out from the left, leaving behind x to be equal to the right hand side we have log 2 all over log 9 all over 2. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to apply the property of logarithm to what we have on the denominator. The property of logarithm that says when I have the log of a over b, this is same as log a minus log b. Very good. So that means this expression can be simplified as x equal to log 2 all over the denominator just like this will be written as log 9 minus log 2. Very good. So now our next step will be for us to simplify log 9. So this will be x equal to log 2 all over log 9 is same as 3 squared. Very good. Minus log 2. Now let's apply the property of logarithm here, the one we've applied before when we said when I have log a to the p, this is same as p log a. So let's apply this to what we have here so that x will be log 2 all over. This expression just like this becomes 2 log 3. Very good. Minus log 2. So minus log 2. Very good. And now we all know that log 2, let me write it here. We all know that log 2 is equal to 0 0.3010. And we also know that log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771. So let's substitute this here. So we have the value of x to be equal to log 2. So I'm going to be putting 0 0.3010 all over. Now 2 times log 3, that's 2 times log 3 is 0 0.4771. And then minus log 2, so minus log 2 is 0 0.3010. Very good. So this simplifies into x equal to 0 0.3010 all over. Now, 2 times 0 0.4771 will result to 0 0.9542. Very good. Minus 0 0.3010. And now simplifying further, we have x to be equal to 0 0.3010 all over. Now, 0 0.9542 minus 0 0.3010 gives 0 0.6532. And now dividing, we're going to have x to be equal to 0 0.3010 divided by 0 0.6532. We have 0 0.4608. And there you have it. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.